What is up guys? Are you ready for yet another adventure in bastardization? <laughs> so last time we were working on that old water source heat pump, the one I've had for a long time. It's just to show you the size and voltage of it. It is a two-ton GEHA024. It's kind of ripped up. 208 three phase, right? No problem hooking that one up. This unit that we just changed out the other day is an old mammoth. And this old mammoth is a three ton. However, it is electrical service, 460 volt three phase. Do I have 460 volts at my house? No. But that ain't gonna stop me from hooking up 230 volts from a three phase VFD that I'm feeding single phase 230 volts into. The question is, will the compressor run? Well, let's find out. <laughs> I have my jump box on here and I have the blower running. By the way, I did have to change the transformer tap over to 230 volt from the 460, so you get 24 volts for the control. At least I did have a transformer that was multi-tap, not just 460. So the blower is on, reversing valves on. Got my probes on, it's R22 again. Okay, take two guys. Got the VFD reprogrammed for the acceleration time to be like half a second instead of 10 seconds. Should have went in there and changed that earlier. Deceleration to just a couple seconds. It's nice to hear it slow down, sounds cool. It heats the water pretty quick. Got about five gallons of water in circulation. It's down to 71, see there, 71.3 in, 71.3 in, 71.8 out. I just briefly touched the compressor for a second, so. Yeah, let's, uh, let me get this back over to there. Get the meter on, let's get the backlight on there. 0.75 amps idle. All right. Compressor started right up. Compressors are going. Temperature of the water 71 in, 72 out. Actually sounds pretty good, but as soon as it starts getting the head pressure up, you can really hear the compressor start to lug, being that it's yeah, under voltage. But it is running. Look at that, 49 PSI. That's pretty low suction pressure there. It's actually starting to come up just a little bit. Should be able to show that on screen now that I remember to turn on the screen capture in my phone 60 hertz and we got 7.2 amps the compressor I think is rated at about 5 amps so we're over that the magnetic field is never really building up like it would if it had the proper 460 volts to it so it's kind of like a motor that you starting up but it never really gets up to speed and then the amps never go from, you know, start inrush current down to running, you know, load amps. So that's why we got 20 amps going into this beast. 8.2 per leg, you know, or whatever, going to the three phase. It's not too happy. Earlier, when I tried to change the speed a little bit. Ooh, that's, here we go. Did not like it too much. There's 50 hertz, 60 over 240 something. Actually purring a little bit, I'm kind of surprised it's running that good. 8.4 amps, the amperage actually went up a tad, only down to 200 volts, that's why. So, you can probably go into the settings and change it more so it doesn't lower the voltage with the frequency. Change it to 65 here, see how it might stall. And it did. Yep. So keep it right there. Yeah, it's getting pissed. You can see the amps are going up. Compressor's going to overheat on us again. Let's get the readings though. Look at this. 88 water. The five gallons of water's already went up to 90 degrees from 70. I've raised five gallons of water um, 20 degrees just in this couple minutes of video. Four minutes of video. Not even that. Three minutes probably of it running. And uh, output's 130 degrees. So it's bringing up the head pressure, we got up to 271, 
63 section. Oh, 52 degree air. Got almost a 20 degree drop there. Oh yeah, it's crisp. Sweet. And the compressor's getting ready to stall and there it goes. And we're done. So, all right, that was a little better test than the first time. That water temperature was up to 130 something leaving, 94. This is gonna be a little lag, you know, being clamped on the copper there. So yeah, water feels pretty warm actually. Almost, yeah. So, the water's probably somewhere between 95 and 100 right now. <laughs> if I, I think this unit right here, if I actually had 460 volt VFD feeding into it, I think it would heat water very efficiently, very quickly. Can't really change the speed on a scroll, however. They don't like it. I think if you slow it down, more than just a little bit, probably uh, the seal, just the way a scroll works, probably wouldn't pump efficiently. So, probably a reason why they never use VFDs on those things. And speeding it up, well, who knows how much you could speed it up before it starts having some mechanical issues, <laughs> thermal issues, or whatever. Another reason why they don't overspeed scrolls. But, you know. Rotary vanes, man, they can haul ass. Screw compressors can haul ass. And piston compressors, you can drift the frequency a little bit. It's a little more mechanical, you know, inhibitors there. So yeah, the water temperature is 96. Or it looks like it's gonna be. I wonder if this will restart if I turn it off in time. And yeah, there it goes. You can tell with the water temperature up into the 90s now. The head pressure, the head pressure climbed pretty quickly. It's definitely lugging this compressor very quickly, <laughs> being under voltage. Let's see, the amps are gonna be ridiculous. Oh yeah, 10. And I did set the amp rating, I think for about nine or 10. I'm surprised it's not going off on overcurrent. And there she goes, it's pissed. Stop that. <laughs> so, by the way, I did have to flush the shit out of this uh, heat exchanger. Put some water through it black shit came out because this unit you know had a plugged exchanger is one of the things that was wrong with it i guess the whole loop of this job is screwed so i put some water through it and then i blew some hot pressure through it and it just blasted out a bunch of shit man it's crazy i'll show you on the screen here uh what we pulled out of the loop when we put the new one in yesterday look at that there's like a fistfuls <laughs> of the pipe corrosion and dirt and whatever else that is so, anyway, I never actually intended for this compressor to start and run, or the blower to stay running because, you know, feeding it half the voltage. I was just wanting to do it and just watch it freak out. So, but because the compressor did start, I just couldn't help but to hooking up the gauges and hook up the water and just kind of seeing what it would do. So, my goal was to actually take this heat exchanger out and put it in this one over here. So, that's the whole goal, put a larger heat exchanger into that unit. And you know, actually at this point, if that heat exchanger won't fit in that one, I might just actually take the compressor out of that one and move it over here, take out the reverse valve, make it straight cool. Maybe use this one for uh, the project. Heating up water, it does have a pretty new looking blower motor in there. Although I have some ECMs, I might put one of those in there. Just make a full bastard out of this thing. I don't know, I don't have a Mustang to, to mess with right now, so you guys know me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, the sun's going down, I gotta put my tools away. Looks like this captured just fine, so yeah, that water's 100 degrees, so look at that. It's awesome. With that, make sure you guys <laughs> like and subscribe. Start doing some more videos of these creations and bastardizations, as I call them. <laughs>